Okay, so the Carotera Austral has now turned to dirt, as we said it would. Um, and the problem now is we're dealing with two, as uh, well, three actually. Two, one is the road, and the other one is the wind. And the third hazard is slower moving people in the track you're in, which is always a problem because you're trying to keep momentum. You need to keep momentum just to keep the bike moving. Um, but up ahead you can see uh, we've caught Pat. Now Pat, American rider, rode all the way down from Ohio, down through Central America to join Kevin's group on the flight from Panama to uh, Bogota. And then he uh, he's with us. So we're just going to see how he's getting on. And just check he's okay. Okay, so uh, Pat's continuing. He's doing great. He's just plodding along, balancing the bike, keeping the wheels rotating. So I'm just going to hang right back because obviously my primary objective is to make sure the whole group gets to where we're going safely. So the best thing I can do is just keep Pat in sight, just trundle along myself. And uh, just make sure he's okay, really. Dom, the van man's behind me, but he's he stopped and he's dropped back, so he's not in our mirrors, which is great, because that's not putting any pressure on. I'm not putting any pressure on Pat by hanging back. He knows I'm not trying to come past him. And uh, and we continue to ride through this, this epic landscape, excuse me, epic landscape, this uh, uh, series of forests and a swamp area to the right. It's really quite beautiful. Road's challenging to ride at these speeds, to be fair. I much prefer going a little bit quicker because that way you can feel the bike dancing around and it's fine. But when you're going this slow, it feels like it's it, will, it doesn't want to go in the right direction. But, uh, as I say, you know, you got to do what you got to do for the benefit of the group. And that man in front I want him to get to the end, and I want him to have ridden it. Because despite the fact he complains like hell about it all, when he gets to the end, he's going to feel better than everybody else in the group about it, I think. And that's what makes this job worthwhile. So, so we'll get him there. As you can see, the rain is started, but the wind seems to have died down now, which is a blessed relief, to be fair. Because... <laughs> Riding on these roads is challenging enough without being blown all over them. But they are quite badly potholed in places. But these great big adventure bikes, the suspensions on them are so good, you just skip over it. Alright, it's a little bit jiggly. But they just keep going. And uh, you know, there's a way to deal with this is do exactly what we're doing, which is pick a speed and maintain it. Just, just trundle along. Tick the miles off as they go. 90 miles to go to the hotel, or the lodge. And it'll be like this pretty much the whole way. So at 25 mile an hour, it's going to take a while. Oh, the wind's picking up a bit. Feel the bike being blown about. The real problem comes in you're trying to maintain a line, and with the wind you can just steer into it, but you don't have the grip to do that, so you have to balance it. It becomes quite a challenge. But low gear helps. Centrifugal force of the engine helping to keep the bike upright. And we trundle along. Okay. Okay, so we're still in the uh, on the Carretera Stroll in amongst the forest. Trundling along, taking the miles down. 
perhaps if you speed it up a little bit, he's gradually getting his confidence, which is what he needs to do. It's all about confidence on this sort of stuff. You know, when you first start